first experience was April of 1992. I was working part-time on a film called Hoffa, and we were shooting um, some of the scenes at the Ambassador Hotel, and it happened to coincide with the Rodney King verdict and the subsequent Los Angeles riots, which shut us down in the middle of filming one day because of everything that was going on. So I, I got a, sort of fascinated by the hotel and the history. I had lived in Michigan in the mid-70s when Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. And so I knew who Jimmy Hoffa was. And then I was working on a film about Jimmy Hoffa, who was an adversary politically of Robert Kennedy, who happened to be shot at the Ambassador Hotel. And things just, the history just kind of kept putting itself together and I just started thinking about the hotel. But then I never went back to the hotel until 2004 when I went back to go work on another film called Must Love Dogs. And we were only there for three days, but um, I, I like to take a lot of pictures and all the different places that I go film, I take pictures all the time. So the first night we were there, I wasn't needed to work on the set, and my set partner said, oh, go take pictures, we know you want to. So I was wandering around, and I experienced a ghost in the ladies' room of the bathroom. And that just sort of started off this whole obsession with the Ambassador Hotel from that point on.